Hi everyone. Well it's day 36 of launching after Lent and we're all looking forward to Easter, not far off now. And um, I just wanted to start today on our reflection with reading Genesis right at the beginning. Genesis 1 and 2 it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light and there was light. So that's 1 to 3, uh, Genesis chapter 1. And uh, in our book, in the chapter Jesus in the Wilderness, chapter 6, um, there's a section there about saying God is hovering over us. And during the lockdown, there, there's actually been quite a lot of birthing of creativity as people have been in a different frame of mind. And um, the, there's a sense that the Holy Spirit has been opening up new ideas in us and that there are new frameworks that he wants us to operate in. And fill with his amazing love and creativity and i i just love that sentence that that bob put wrote there and the next section says i am a new creation in 2 corinthians 5 verse 17 it says therefore if anyone is in christ he is a new creation behold the old has passed away and the new has come and the devil actually wants to shut us down and his his plan is is just like what happened with Jesus his plan was to to let the old pass away and roll a stone over the entrance of our tombs he wants our love to grow cold and for us to be hardened up inside us but he doesn't bargain on God's love which has pursued us I I'm just reading from the book and and God's love still pursues us. God's love is pursuing every person at this, in this world that, that doesn't know him, that isn't in his family. God's pursuing them with his love. I love that phrase. And when all seems finished, um, just like Jesus, when it all seemed finished and they, they rolled the stone against the tomb and Jesus was dead and buried and the disciples went away in grief but the spirit of god hovered over the spirit of god hovered over and as we know jesus rose on the third day and just like that it, with this lockdown it feels like with this pandemic that the spirit of god has hovered over us in the grief and the mess and spoken life and a new creation so that's the thought that I wanted to leave with us today. So Father, I do pray for everyone um, hearing this, that, that you will, Holy Spirit, you will come and hover, hover over us in our grief, hover over us in the mess of, of our lives, hover over us in our loneliness, in anything that where we're feeling apart from you, hover over us and bring that creativity speak your word let there be let there be life let there be light let there be hope let there be a future and jesus i just pray for that that overwhelming sense of your holy spirit restoring us at this time and opening up those new frameworks for us to walk into in the name of jesus God bless you. Amen. Bye for now. God bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you're doing. Amen.